In today's video, we talk about how getting ahead means you have to deal with discomfort. What is going on guys? This is Paul Ravello from ProPhysique.com and today I have a message for you because of something that's going on in my life. I figured it'd be a fun little topic to discuss. I don't know how quiet it's going to be because in the next few minutes they're going to be installing some stuff in my kitchen. There goes the dog. She's barking. But I wanted to get this message out because uh, I've, been, I've been reminded recently that every time I've had some success or every time I've gotten to a place in my life where I got more out of life. It was always preceded by a period where I was very uncomfortable for a while. Here goes some construction noise, right? So the message that I want to give, and this is a message I would love to give myself 10, 20 years ago. You know, I think I always had this vision for life when I was younger that like things are supposed to go smooth, things go easy, you just kind of make your way through life and things go well. And for a lot of people, that aren't trying to do a lot of things, that may be the case. A lot of people may actually avoid the processes or the situations where stress is involved. Um, and I myself consider myself a very low stress person. But one thing I've noticed is, and I'll give you guys some examples, is that if you want more, if you want to do better, if you want to be better, if you want to accomplish more, do more, you have to put yourself into situations that are uncomfortable. I think. For the most of us, we tend to get into, I don't want to call it a rut, but we get into like consistent patterns. Like this is our day, it's comfortable for us, this is our, this is our life, it's easy for us. And for anything positive or really good to happen, you really have to shake that whole idea up. You have to take what you're doing on a day-to-day -day basis and go, okay, where am I going to make the changes to allow myself the effort that I have, the time that I have, that I'm going to need to put in to getting to this next place. My first example would be my uh, my career prior to being a coach. I was working at a company doing IT stuff and I just never felt like I was getting ahead. I felt like, you know, I had this salary job. I think I was making like $40,000 a year, which, you know, was enough money. It wasn't like I was hurting for cash, but you know, I worked my 40 hours and I played in my softball leagues and I went to the gym and I hung out with my friends and went drinking on the weekends. And I just felt like I wanted more, something more. And so I started researching like, okay, what would be the next step for me in my career? And that would be to be like an executive in the information technology space. And I thought, okay, what does that take? It takes some certifications, it takes some experience, and it takes degrees in a lot of cases. And I had a bachelor's degree. So I immediately went and started looking at master's degrees and I pursued my master's degree and got it. And what I found was, as soon as I started doing that, I had to shift a lot of what I was doing because I was going to night school. So I had to keep working. So two nights a week, I was in school for eight hours. So four hours each night. Well, that was a big chunk of my social life and free time that I was now delving into. I had to stop playing in softball leagues. I had to change my schedule for the gym. I had to learn a little bit more time management. I had to have time to write papers and do presentations. And a lot of the things that we did in school were like meet up in groups and work on projects together. You know, this was, um, this was some pretty cool stuff. And all the people that I was in school with were also full-time working adults. And so you didn't mess with people's time. Our time was valuable. So you didn't make plans to be at a, at a meeting and not show up, right? You didn't make plans to have a project or a paper done on a certain time or have your part done and not have it done on time because that was messing with other people's schedules. And I remember a few times, you know, that happened to me where someone was supposed to turn something in, it didn't happen. And it gave me, you know, a bad feeling and I never wanted to have anyone else feel that way. But this was just one example of like, okay, I wanted to get ahead in my job, and I did. I actually, literally within a year of starting my master's program, um, I, I was perceived differently. And, you know, this may be my perception, but I immediately got my own office within, uh, you know, within a year. I got, I got promoted, I got raised, I got, I got offered to do more things for the company as I think they took me more seriously as a professional at that office. And so, 
it just reminded me, okay, like, yeah, I was very comfortable, you know, hanging out with my friends, going to work. I had a very smooth life. Everything was going nicely. But if I wanted more, I was going to have to sacrifice and get ahead. And that's what's going on right now. We have a very nice house. I'm very lucky. But we're building something that I feel is going to be the future of my business. It's going to be a space where we can produce content. I can have people come and visit. We can train. We can, you know, have, I have other employees now where we can all work in one space and collaborate. But it's a pain in my freaking ass. Like, right now, my life is so thrown out of whack because we're going all this stuff. And a year ago, we had a very nice house, you know? And the process of selling a house and moving, although, it sounds like maybe romantic when you talk about it. Yeah, we sold our house, we made a bunch of money, we're gonna go buy a new house. The last year has been one of the most challenging years of my life just because of that. Raising a you know three-year-old boy and being a part of this business that I'm trying to grow, we could have stayed in the house we were in and it would have been just fine. It was wonderful. But we wanted a little bit better life. We wanted a little bit more out of life. And so we wanted a house with a pool. Our other house had no option for a pool. So we had to start doing things that were uncomfortable. Packing and moving, very uncomfortable. Moving and construction, very uncomfortable. So I don't wanna get too far off on a tangent here. I just wanna remind you guys that, you know, at least from my perspective, it's always been highly beneficial to spend time looking at what you wanna do and then kind of restructuring things and understanding that yes, it's gonna be uncomfortable for a time. I always love this analogy. If you're flying in an airplane and you're cruising at a certain altitude, to get to a higher altitude, so let's say this is where your life is, right? And you wanna get your life to this place where you're cruising at a higher altitude, you know, what you would consider a higher quality of life. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to level up my quality of life. Well, if an airplane wants to reach that, it has to go through turbulence, right? It's not just a smooth ride up to that next level. And that's what I think of with everything that goes on in life, with business, with friendships, whatever it may be that you're working on or conjuring up, if you're trying to get to that next level, you have to look at being a little bit uncomfortable for a while, putting yourself in a position where, you know what, don't be fancy, don't try to save a bunch of money, don't try to you know, have a fancy car or a fancy watch. If you need to save money to get to that next place in life, do it. Do the things, sacrifice the things, and, and the, the things that I'm saying may be completely arbitrary and have nothing to do with you, but for every one of us, that type of sacrifice that we're looking to make, or we're gonna have to make, is gonna be a little bit different. For me, it's usually been about getting uncomfortable in my life because I tend to try to get really comfortable. I like low stress, I like setting up my life to be low stress, and for periods of time, it's required that I don't do that. All right, guys, Lauren Conlon's calling me. I need to take this. She just saw Gary Vee. I want you guys to have an awesome Friday, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Oh, by myself.